I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Cleopatra, Queen of Egypt. I come right in the center and underneath I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a slightly curved line to the left, come back to the dot, slightly curved line to the right. Come back to the left, we're just going to draw a little straight diagonal down on the left, a little straight diagonal down on the right, come back to the left, we're going to connect the two with a slightly curved line. I come right underneath on the left and I draw a curved line down on the left, come over here on the right, curve line down on the right, underneath we're just going to start a curve line that goes all the way over and leave it floating. Come inside this space and we're just going to draw Curve line, straight line, straight line, curve line across. Okay. Coming over here on the right, we're going to draw curve line down, curve line out, curve line down, curve line out, curve line in, curve line over, and leave it floating. Come on the left hand side, we're just going to draw curve line down over and leave that floating. Okay. Come over here on the left side and we're just going to draw one, two, three, four, five curve lines connect. We're going to come right up here on the left and we're just going to draw a wavy, wavy, wavy line down and leave it floating. Come back up to the top. We're going to mimic that line, wavy, wavy line down, and leave it floating. Now we come back over here to the right. Starting right here, we draw a wavy, wavy line down, leave it floating. Come back up, wavy, wavy line down, leave it floating. Come over here to this space right here. We're going to draw a curve line, dot, curve line in, out, and leave it floating. All right. Now, starting right up here where we stopped, we're going to draw a curve line around, curve line down, straight line, and now mimic the line back up. Okay? Now I have a little hanging line there. I'm going to connect that right there. Now I come back over to the right. And right here at this point, I draw a slightly curved line down, out. Bring it back in. Curve line, curve line. Come right about here and draw a straight diagonal down. Curve line in, curve line back out, connect, come right underneath, curve line up, connect, come right underneath again, little curve line down, curve line out and in, keep going a little bit, straight line, curve line, and leave it floating. Come back up to this space. We are going to draw a straight line, curve line up, back, connect. Right above it, we're going to draw a curve line all the way up, leave it floating. Come underneath, mimic that line out, leave it floating. Come back inside, draw a curve line, draw a curve line. And I'm going to color this space in. Okay, so we can kind of see a little bit better what we're doing. Now I come back over here to this space. Right about here, I'm going to draw a curve line out, down, up, connect. 
I'm going to just do a squiggle, squiggle, curve line, curve line, connect. And then I'm going to take a straight line down, bring it over, wavy line up, and connect. And I'm going to take this line down and bring it in, connect. Now I come all the way back over here and in this space I'm just going to draw a straight diagonal, straight diagonal, leave it floating, come back up to the top, straight diagonal in, curve line, curve line slightly, curve line, curve line, bring it back up and connect. I'm going to put a little baby circle right there. I come over on the big part of the right side right here and I draw a big curve line down, straight line over, slightly curve line up, connect. I come over here on the right and I'm just going to draw curve line down, connect. Right here, now everybody's going to have a different amount of space. We're going to draw a straight diagonal bring it over, straight line down, bring it over, straight line, curve line up, straight line, connect. Now we're going to come in and put a slightly curved line at the bottom, bring this line all the way over, jump over, bring it back up, curve line, straight diagonal up, and connect. I know it looks a little confusing and it's going to get crazier because Egyptian art is very stylized with repeating patterns. So if you want to do the main part first, leave it alone and now come back in and do the second part, that's fine. Okay, because now I'm going to start filling in stuff. I come all the way over here and I'm just going to draw straight diagonal lines in each one of these curved lines all the way across. Now everybody is going to have a different looking Queen Cleopatra because we all draw differently and it's got a lot of things going on. I come into this space and I'm going to start doing curved lines, filling it in, bring it back, bring it over, curve line all the way, filling it in. Because what the uh, Egyptians did was stylized repeating patterns. Now I come over to the front part and I'm just going to do curved lines, curved lines, filling in the space, curved line, curved line. Okay. Now I come into this space right here and I do straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line. Now if you cannot tell, I'll tell you, if you do this by sections, you won't get so you won't get mixed up. Okay? If you try to do it all at one time all together, it could make you crazy. All right, now I'm going to do this space and that lines up with this space. And again, repeating curved lines for each space. And like I said before, everybody's going to end up with a different amount. Everybody's going to have kind of a different looking Cleopatra. But that's because, like I said earlier, the Egyptians did repeating patterns. Now I'm going to do this side, side on the right and fill this in with those curved lines. Keep going. Keep going all the way. Now, I can tell right now, I'm positive there's something I've forgotten to draw. So I'm going to leave my black out and handy in case I do find something that needs to be redrawn. I think this is all, but who knows. I know right here I want to bring this part of my eye more out. And maybe make this a little bit thicker and bring it out a little bit more. And this underneath. Okay, and maybe this on top. 
because they had those real intense eyes. Okay? All right, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, she has a lot of coloring on her. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take, this is I think burnt sienna, and I am going to color her facial skin tone with this brown. Some of you have multicultural crayons, you can use one of the colors that are already there. If you don't, just use a regular brown and color this all in. Then, because I want her to have a little bit of color, I took my regular orange and I gave her some orange lips. Then, I took my yellow green and I colored this space up here. You can make your own color choices but let me warn you it's kind of tricky because you've got all kinds of things to color in and you kind of want some of it to match and be symmetrical but then some of it not to match so this yellow green I'm using on this part of the headdress then I take my regular brown and I color the inside ladder part looks like a ladder this inside part regular brown all the way down. I mean you can look at Google pictures of Egyptian art and you will see all the color combinations. They used a lot of turquoise, lapis, which is a blue, all kinds of stuff. I'm going to take my yellow, I'm going to do this space, this space, and this space over here yellow. Okay. Then I take my regular blue. This is regular blue. Okay, this is like lapis, which is a stone. This is blue. And you will do a way better job than me. She's interesting though to do. They don't really have a good picture of her. The way that they are doing some of her images is through masks and through coins. So that's regular blue. This space is regular blue. And this is regular blue. Okay. Then I used red orange. And I did the top part of this headdress and this bird she's got going on her headdress very fashionable all the way over jump over but to tie in with the other parts of the headdress I'm using my yellow green again over here on these feathers okay now I come all the way down here to her her uh, collar and I'm doing turquoise which could be faience special color that they use stone and like I said if you want to use a different color combination you can make your own choices this is what I'm using so I used um, blue-green turquoise for most of this. This is a little bit off. And then I came in with orange, and I used orange. Okay? Now, some of you might have really fancy crayons with the metallics, or some of you might have those metallic pens. You can really kind of go to town with those colors. But even if you don't, look how colorful this looks with just crayon. I love crayon. You can do a lot with crayon. You just have to know, know how to do your color combinations. Okay, I think that's all. Let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is Cleopatra, Queen of Egypt, last active ruler from 51 to 30 BC. And she influenced Roman politics because of being in uh, 
Evolved with Mark Anthony and Julius Caesar. Romans. Okay, bye-bye.